it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. When you topple over, you topple over. Let's try to tie it all together. Let's go. All right, welcome back. We are here again for another movement session, movement practice. I think we're going to be rolling around a lot today. Uh, we're going to hopefully to get up and down as well as just mobility from our backs to our chest. Have a little fun with that. So stay hydrated, practice at your own risk, and we'll get started. Let's go. Let's start in our seated staff pose, legs long, sitting up nice and tall. We'll inhale the arms up. We'll exhale, crossing the chest, right arm reaches across, left arm reaches back, coming into a twist. And we'll just float to that inhaling up, switching sides, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale. Ah. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Coming to the front, we'll bend our knees, hands can come along our sides, and we'll just windshield wiper the knees side to side. Loosening up those hips, rolling across the feet. And while we're doing this, let's like whack-a-mole, we'll shrink our necks and then press through our hands. Just to start to wake up those shoulders. Good. Next time your knees fall to the right, leaving the right hand down the left, I'm going to reach behind for a twist. We'll inhale it up to the ceiling. And exhale to the back for that twist. One more up. And twist. And we'll sway through center. Knees to the left. The left arm plants. Right arm reaches. Inhaling up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. And exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. This time, instead of coming to the center, I'm going to go to my left forearm, to my left shoulder. As I do, I'll roll to my back. And we'll just do a little bridge flow action. It hips up, arms up, and down. Let's start to add some energy into this. So we'll reach up and then I'll add a little crunch at the top. One more. Good. Since we're down on our backs, I'm going to take my right arm overhead. Left arm's going to reach across the chest. I'm going to roll to my stomach. From my stomach, hands under our chest, knees engaged. We're going to peel up and find our way to our child's pose. We're going to cycle through this, rolling side to side. So if you don't have enough space, Start to acclimate yourself to your room. So we're going to flow through our child's pose, knee hand rocking down to our chest. I'm going to go left arm long. And I'm going to reach and roll over to my back. Arms up. Reaching across with the right arm. Coming back the way I came. Let's add a little cobra. Press up through tabletop. Child's pose. I'm going to wave forward like a cat. Hinging down, right arm long, rolling to my back. We got both arms long, reaching through, peeling up, 
and back. Wave forward. Left arm. Roll. Left arm long. Right arm reaches us across. Hands and shoulders. Pressing back. Waving forward. Right arm long. And rolling to our backs. So this time, to turn over, I'm going to use my leg and use that weight to turn me. So still right arm long, left leg's going to reach. That's going to start to turn my hips. I'm going to resist a little bit to get a little stretch. We'll add a little cobra. We'll press up, knees down. Shifting forward, coming down. Left arm long. Again, my foot's going to lead the way this time. I'm going to send the right leg across. As I start to turn over, I'll come to my back. Left arm long, leading with the legs, so right leg's reaching. Coming through, going to add a little cobra, so chest, chest lifts, chin tucks, going to press in, toes engaged, push up, knees down for child. So a little more rigid this way. We'll go one more each side. Each side. Leg really reaches, turns us over. Boom. Let's go here. Arm, right arm, left leg. So I get a twist. Coming to center, chest peels up. Pressing up. Knees bend, child. Shifting forward, left arm long, right leg reaches across, here's my little twist, to my back, left arm, right leg, cobra, push up, child's pose, good, we'll come down to our belly, Go right arm long, roll over to our backs. And from our back, we'll go knees to the right. Let's see what makes sense. Knees to the right, right shoulder, right forearm, right hand. And my side bent sit. And let's just roll through that as a way to just loosen up a little bit. So think of a sweeping, you're familiar with the Turkish getup, kind of coming down that way. As I roll through center, I can keep rolling through. Left hand, left elbow, left shoulder, and up. And if you have a little bit of a cat back, so I'm going to stick my spine out a little bit, so as I roll through, I'm like a little egg as I switch sides. It's not flat, flat, flat. It's a lot of effort there. So I use this rotational swing. I can use that energy to come up. In terms of self-defense aspects. For some reason you fell down, you're like this. I have my hands up, at least one hand up, making space. And one more. Good. Gonna do a little shoulder crawl action here. You, from our bridge position. So that you may find this tough. So we're going to do three steps with our shoulders. So what does that mean? Let's back step a little bit. So I'm going to stay down. I'm going to, like I'm backstroke swimming, I'm going to reach with my left shoulder, reach with my right shoulder, reach with my left shoulder, reach with my right shoulder. 
for now I'm mostly down except for those switches. So now I'm going to go towards my heels. Right, left, right, left. I should be back where I started. You're getting any little cramps. Legs long, shake them out, and reset. So let's just build that. I'm going to go three little steps. Down, three little steps. Two more. One. And two. Good. Now let's make it harder. If you're like, no, I'm good, just do that again. Otherwise, we're going to bridge up. Now I'm emphasizing with my shoulders. I'm going to try to keep my hips up and walk my body out. And then, keeping my hips up, lower. You can go legs long, point flex, curl it in. And we'll go again. Hips up as high as possible. Three steps with your shoulders, back, legs long, point, flex, in, up, crawl, retreat, and back, up. And if you're like me and found yourself doing the same shoulder every time, we're going to go again. This time I'm going to make a conscious effort to go left shoulder first every time. And I'll do three. Up, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, left, right, left, boom, boom, left, right, left, left, right, left. One more. One, two, three. One, two, three. And down. Let's take a full body stretch, inhaling, arms long, reaching through the fingers, reaching through the toes. And we'll bring our knees in, right leg long, and we'll take hold of that left shin, left knee, and chop. And let's alternate this. So as I rock back, switch and chop. It shouldn't be a huge effort. You're using your leg as a little counterweight to help bring you up. You need extra, I can push the shin that I'm holding forward to help bring me up. Of course, chin's tucked. Don't smack the back of your head on the floor. And two more switches. One. Two. Good. Let's keep going into this. Let's add from that side bent sit roll through we were doing. We're going to add a reach with the old top leg. So kind of like when we're on our backs turning over, we're going to do the same kind of thing here. So let's go here. Again, it's going to use a lot of floor space. So Find yourself some floor. I'm facing away. My right knee's on top. My left hand's coming down. Left shoulder. Again, I'm rounded. The difference this time besides just rolling over, I'm going to take my right leg and use it to turn me over. And then I'm going to chop and come up to the other side. So right hand, right elbow, right shoulder. Sweep the leg and up. Boom. Top leg reaches, and then boom. Left leg, spread eagle, and kick up. Cross, and up. So I like with that, say, ax kick rock up we were just doing. As I come through, this top leg bending helps seesaw me up. So let's do a few more and feel that out. Let's go here. Good. So right leg's on top for me, right shoulder. Let's pause here, take a twist, send the right leg, 
Left leg follows. Right leg's tucked. Left leg swoops up. Again, I'm going to sweep. Come through center. Tuck. And chop. Let's pause on the other side for our left side twist. So I'm here. Right leg's on the bottom. Left leg's on top. I'm going to take a little twist. And then I'll come up. Side bend sit. So again, seesaw action. Let that leg be your counterweight. As it goes down, you come up. Let's do a handful, fast and smooth. So just kind of roll it out and have some fun. So switching and up. experiment really quick we'll keep going the same idea here but now we're gonna play if bringing awareness to as my top leg lifts I'm gonna keep it in line with my hips tuck hips up we'll do that a few times and then we'll do a little something different so as I come down I kick and I stop in line with my hip, open, and chop. One, two, three. Okay, one more, finishing up. Good. So you have to use a little bit of a brake there to stop the leg from coming up. So now let's use that, not hit the brakes, and use it to get a little bit of a stretch and kind of aid in that circular tornado motion, if you will. So as I roll down, the leg keeps coming to my head and chop. And the second leg follows suit. So towards me, towards me. So add a little bit more of a rock at the back end so my hips lift. And I come up. Hips lift and come up. The less flexible you are, the more you throw it, the sooner your hips are going to come up. If you're super flexible, which I am not, you'll get your foot up pretty high before the other leg has to follow. Again, let's play with it, have some fun, whirl around. Again, I'm gently rolling down. Sweep, sweep, top leg, bottom leg. Now, just generally speaking, I like to follow through with the hands because now they're up and it just helps me visualize the path of the legs. You can set a guard up. One more each side, and then we'll move on. One, and one. So we'll do the same thing, but this time at the top when we hit our side bend sit. We're going to come up, break, and step. And come back. So just so we know we can do it, Let's do a few, kind of a little more traditional. So, if you're not on your side bent and sit, come to a bent sit. We'll knock our knees to my left, your right. And I'm going to take my top leg, my right leg, left hand plants, stepping up, and I'll engage the toes. Left hand down, right leg comes back, hips come down, windshield wiper. Right hands down, left legs on top, and they come up. Good. 
if you're feeling saucy, you can go no hands, hip flip, step. Something I've been getting lazy with is leaving the top of my foot down and not engaging the balls of my foot. So make a conscious effort to as you come up and step, engage. This is up. If you're here, yeah, you can press into the foot. It's not great. You want to be ready to go. It's very simple to collapse it. So, conscious effort. Step up. Toes. Down. Switch. Toes. So let's put that at the end of that switch you were just doing with the leg leading the way. So it should be a fun bunch of directional changes. And my knees are to the left, the left hand, left shoulder, right leg lead. Hit the brakes, step up. Back, rolling through. They roll in a sweep, bump, step up, brakes, roll through, sweep, up, side bend, sit, boom, boom, one, two, Down, roll, up, uh-oh, I'm out of there, back, oh. one, two, back to center. Let's and we'll stand up at the end. Why not? Yes. So same same idea. We're gonna swing through to our low lunge and then we'll stand up and then we'll come back down and repeat. Let's do a few of those, and then we'll see where we end up. My hand. See what comes out. See what feels good, and we'll go. So I'm gonna sway my knees to my right, your left, rolling down, sweep, chop up. Just like before, I stepped up and around, and I'm gonna stand. I'm not going to move my feet unless I have to. And then we come back, rock down, switch sides, brakes, step up, up. One, two, three, up. Cheating. So that's the beauty of what we've done so far is you can roll from side to side, however you like, but you can also have fun with it.
Good. I think uh, we'll see what happens. But let's get wild. So let's do the same thing. This time when we stand up, we'll about face, and we'll try to twist our way down and do the reverse. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if there's enough room. Let's just try it. So what will really help with this is swaying the arms to kind of keep the momentum going, and it'll lead the way through it. So again, I'm gonna start knees to the right. I'm gonna switch, chop, wind, unwind. Because I'm still going, I'm about face, knee comes down, right hand comes down, side bend sent the other way, chop, wind up, step, turn, down. One, two, three, boom, up, turn. I'm not good at counting. It seems it's always the same. We'll have to do the other side in a second. This guy's in. I don't know either. Good. So, that time we started with our knees, my knees to my right. I'm going to start with my knees to my left. Again, we'll start slow. So, if you were, if you've gotten lost, slow down a touch. So, again, I'm going to go knees to the left, left hand, left shoulder to my back. Like we did previously, my right leg is going to swing us across. Left leg chops to bring me up. Swing left, swing right, step. I'm up, I turn, face forward. Left knee comes down, left hand can come down, right leg steps back. I'm back to where I started, and the routine begins again. So I'm gonna come to my shoulder, reach with the right leg, because it's the top. Left leg's on top now. Tuck and step. Scoot over for you. I'm up, 180, lunge. If I wanna go no hands, I step, I think of knee near the foot, and I come down, rolling down, leg switch, and chop, and step, and turn, boom, knee goes back, I swing, boom, boom, up, down, step back. Roll down, kick switch, side bend sit, low lunge, up, switch sides, low lunge. Come down to my side bend sit, kick switch, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's do the same thing, but different. So now we'll tone it down. 
we'll start knees to the right and instead of the big sweep let's just roll across on my butt knees to the right side bent sit as I come down I'm going to roll kind of through a bridge and peel up side bend sit the other way because we're cooling down I'm going to leave my left hand down the right leg will step so now I'm assisted <clears throat> come through say goddess or horse stance or slap and I'm going to go right hand to turn so I'm staying a little lower and then I'm just going to step back with the left foot and then my side bend sit the other side Gonna come down to my back. No sweep. I'm just rolling across, peeling up. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my hand down. And I'm gonna step to the front. Boom. Come up. Might as well hit a little goddess. Right hand. As that happens, I'm gonna turn my back knee in. Step back and down. Come back, roll through, and up. Since that's the same side over and over, now we're gonna go the reverse. So starting with my knees to the left, see like this, knees to the left, rolling back down. I have windshield wiper. Roll up. Since I know I'm stepping, I don't have to come all the way up. I can step here. Open the door, got it, come down, step back, boom, roll, up, step, scoot so you guys can see, and then back knee, heels up, heels down, step back, and roll through, one more. Again, if I have the top of my foot here, it's a lot of work in the one leg. If I engage the ball of the foot, I can grip and turn down, drop, boom, down. And last one. Ball of the foot. Boom. Boom. And side bend. And we'll roll down. something in the middle there that I wanted to hit at the second of this I can't think of it so we went here so switch ah the we won't lay back this time we're gonna switch windshield wiper into our bent sit so knees to the left, planting my left hand, and I'm just going to open both legs to plant my right, switching sides, there's my windshield wiper, step up, and like we did before, horse stance, goddess, hand comes down, side bend sit. So here's where it's different, instead of coming down here, I'm just going to sway through. Boom, and step. Horse, down, and back. Butt shots. Windshield wiper. Step, horse, low lunge. Side bend sit, windshield wiper. Step up. One more roll across. Here's that. And we'll step up. Turn. Step down. Switch. Good. Knees go to the right. 
and we gotta do handful on this side. Yep. So first our switch, windshield wipe ring through center, stepping up. Knee comes down, stepping back, rolling through, stepping up. Super, super smooth, super slow. Hand plants, stepping back to my side bent sit. Proper posture, shoulder elongated. Sitting nice and tall. Feeling the weight shift to the opposite hand. Into the hand, into the knee to step. Toes engage. Windshield wipe of the knee. Windshield wipe of the knee. Pivoting on the ball of the foot. Hand comes down. Stepping back. Again, I'm knee and hands where my weight is. Now it's in the hip. Swaying through. And we'll step up, why not? Pause in the middle here. Turn to face you guys. And let's do some rotational rocking around the clock. And we'll add a reach, an up kick, and then a sit up into our bent set every quarter. So, what does that mean? I'm going to try to milk the rotations, the rotational rock like a turtle. I'm just going to do little shimmies, staying nice and low. As I get to a quarter turn, I'm going to rock back, kick up, reach up. Come back, little turns. I'm at the quarter, kick up, reach up. Quarter, kick up, reach up. Kick up, reach up, kick up, reach up. Good, other way. Come back, one, kick, reach. So that kick helps me sit up, because I'm using that momentum. Kick. seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll bring our left ear to our left shoulder. Through center, right ear, right shoulder. Feel any tension, let the shoulders fall. Let the head fall. Going up through center, opposite side, left ear, left shoulder. This time we take my left hand, reach up and over. Just give it a little encouragement. I'm not pulling, just adding a little weight on my hand. Remember, I can do it with the opposite hand. Just let it fall to the side. I'm 
I'm gonna look down a little bit, move my hand towards the back of my head. And I'm gonna play with my bottom arm. I'm gonna rotate it. And release. Opposite side. Right ear, right shoulder. Right hand comes up and over for now. Trying to look straight through. And relax. Left hand come down. And I'm going to transition. Looking a little downward. Hand moves to the back corner of the head. And again with the arm. I'm going to rotate it up. So find what feels good for you, or what might need a little extra stretch. Good. I'm going to release. I'm going to go chin to chest, taking both hands, just cup it in the back of my head. You can interlace the fingers or just stack them. And I'm going to lift up through the back. So I'm not just rounding down here. That's a bit tall. Again, I'm not pulling my head. The arms are just resting. You're like, that's too much. No arm. And I'll lift the chin and we'll look up. Coming to center, wherever your legs are at, they're crossed. Switch the cross, and we'll do three big inhales, nice and wide. Inhaling up. And inhale one more. This time we bring our palms together, elbows together. is class. Thanks everyone for tuning in, checking it out. Hopefully you'll see you next week. Again, these are live Sundays at 10 on Zoom. You can follow us at GroundUpNJ on Instagram and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, whatever. Have a good one.